Hi, my name is Jackie Blisson and today and over the next little series of videos, we're going to be talking about how and why to taste wine like a geek. We're going to talk about why this is important, how to go about doing it, and we're then going to break down the aromas and flavors and components of wine structure so you can make the most of your glass of wine. So let's dive in. All right, wine tasting, why is it important? First of all, we taste wines and analyze them to make sure our wine is in good condition. Wine is a living, breathing thing, and as such, the aromas and flavors are quite vulnerable to deviation. Things like cork taint you might have heard of, whereby the cork, the natural cork, takes, uh, is contaminated by a chemical compound, a mold. It gives off a really unpleasant wet newspaper, wet dog kind of smell on a wine. That's a wine fault. There are loads of them. A wine that's overly exposed to oxygen, a wine that doesn't, isn't exposed to enough oxygen, a wine that's affected by a spoilage yeast like Britannomyces that gives a bit of a barnyard smell. Some find this pleasant, some don't. All of these things are wine faults. If you find a wine has an off flavor or aroma or something about it that you don't like, that you find isn't quite right, do not hesitate to return it. It is your bottle of wine. Do not fear the sommelier. You're the one paying for it. You're the one drinking it. If you think it's off, take it back. The second reason for tasting and really analyzing a glass of wine is just to enhance your enjoyment of the glass of wine. If on a Tuesday you're drinking an ordinary sort of $10 bottle of wine, you just want to unwind, analyzing your glass of wine, probably not that important. But if you're starting to spend a little bit more money, you're starting to embrace your inner wine geek, then just taking a little bit of time to appreciate the color, the aromas, the flavors, and all the structure of the wine, is you're going to be amazed by how much more you're going to appreciate your glass of wine. So let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to just simply look at our glass of wine. The color can tell you loads. It can tell you about the grape. Pinot Noir is a much paler grape than, for example, Sierra or Cabernet Sauvignon, which are going to be more opaque and deeply colored. Uh, it can tell you about the wine's condition, it can tell you about the wine's age. Older wines tend to have more of a browner hue to them. So the next thing we're going to do is take a nice sniff of the wine. You can swirl as I've just done, but really if you're not comfortable with that, it's not all that important. Swirling the wine is just basically aerating it, allowing oxygen to marry and liberate some of those aromas. But if you just leave your glass sitting there for a while, it'll happen on its own naturally. You just need to be a little bit more patient. So what are you going to get from smelling your glass? You're going to get all the aromas. You're going to get a sense of how intense they are. Are you, is this, it gives you a sense of climate as well. Are these sort of tart, just ripe aromas? Or are these really ripe, jammy aromas? Uh, you're also going to get a sense of how complex the aromatics are. And this is a link to wine quality. Are you just getting sort of a vague sort of sense of dark fruits? Or are you getting really clearly delineated different fruit and spice and oak and all kinds of different flavors and aromas on this wine. That'll give you a lot, a lot of information about wine quality. The next thing you're going to want to do is take a sip, the best part. So you take a little sip about wine. I slurped it. You don't have to. Again, it's all about your comfort level. It's all about, again, aerating the wine to liberate some more of those flavors. And on the palate, this is where we get into wine structure, which we're going to break down the next series of videos. You get a sense of the wine's acidity, its body, its alcohol, its tannins, its sweetness, its whether it has oak aging or not. There's all kinds of things that you can get from a wine from tasting it. This is the structure of wine. It's the building blocks that make up the wine's unique DNA, which make up its personality, really. So, as I said, we're going to break this down, notably aromas and flavors in one video, then acidity, alcohol, sweetness or dryness levels, and finally tannins over the next course of videos. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Santé!